Hi folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. And as the title, I'm sure, gave it away once again, we are talking about uh, photo bombers. Now, if you don't know what a photo bomber is, you're going to take a picture and somebody's head pops up behind you or uh, somebody deliberately steps into your photograph. But these folks here are not deliberately doing anything wrong. I'm taking a photograph of my sister and my mother here. And these folks just happen to be walking down uh, the, the dirt path, which used to be a sidewalk at one time here. And we want to eliminate these and get rid of all these people so we can get more focused on these. Uh, my mom here and my sister. Now, obviously, you can do something like you can always do a crop, right? We could just do a crop. And uh, we could just pull this in. Something like this. We can pull this in like this. You know, make it really, really tight. Uh, so we have very, very little to eliminate. We can pull this up a little bit. We can pull this down. And we can just do a little crop here. Say OK. And then we only have to deal with the one gentleman here in the back. But, you know, we don't want to make it easy. So let's try to make this a little bit more difficult. OK, let's revert the photograph here. We want to use the whole photograph. So the first thing you're going to do is duplicate that background layer. We always want to do that with Command or Control J. And we'll duplicate that background layer so we don't destroy anything as we're working on this. We can always delete the layer and go back to the original photograph. So right now what we're going to do, though, is we're just going to start eliminating people using my, one of my favorite tools. And you've seen me use this before. It is the Content Aware tool. Okay, There is a Proximity Match tool. There is also a creative texture tool, and there's the content aware tool. I talk about all these great tools in my online course at jtclearning.com, jtclearning.com. And I'll tell you about that at the end of the video here, but all of these are gone over so you understand how to use these great, great tools and get the most uh, bang for your uh, buck when you're buying Photoshop elements. So the first one is going to be very obvious. We're going to take this uh, woman over here uh, to the right by this orange can, and we're going to just eliminate her. And what you do is you don't want – people make a mistake because they want to get this uh, content-aware tool, if you can see the cursor there, really, really big. You know, they want to put a big circle in there and pull it over. That's not really the way to use it. The best way to use it is try to get as close as you can, just a little bit outside on both sides, and just go over her, okay? And do it in sections based on the surroundings that you're working with. And then we'll go down on the bottom here, just like so. Then that way it gives the content aware tool chance to pick up the background. If you go the whole way, it doesn't know if you want every, the dirt to be up here, the road to be down the bottom. It, it gets kind of confused. We can go over that uh, stoner just a little bit right there. Okay, so now she is gone. These folks here are a little bit more challenging. Um, obviously, I played with this before the video. But we're going to go ahead and start anyway and see what we come up with. Okay, something like this. And we'll just go here first. And we'll just start eliminating uh, parts of this woman here. Just like so. Very, very easy to do here with this tool. All right, so now she's eliminated. Now we can start working with the two folks in back here. The one thing that I found uh, in when playing with the video and playing with the photograph here before I started the video was, is this gentleman's shirt is really close to my sister. Um, in proximity, no, he's pretty far back. You know, he's probably a good, uh, I don't know, 15 feet from her, maybe 10, 15 feet. But in the photograph, uh, when we're taking pictures, it kind of blends together. So we got to be careful with that one. But we're going to take this female here and uh, eliminate her. Just uh, again, just a little short pull here. And anything you see left, just go over it there. Yeah, right there. And what you're going to see here, and you're going to say, well, Jack, look, you're eliminating a lot of stuff that shouldn't be eliminated. But nobody knows what was in the background of this photograph anyway. Uh, we're just taking out distractions from the photograph uh, of the two people that we want to keep. Let's start working on the gentleman here, and we're going to start with his uh, head right here, down to that shoulder. Then we'll take his side down here. We'll see how that looks. Uh, not too shabby. Got that 
cursor just a little bit too small. And I'm using my right and left bracket keys. That's what I'm using here. All right. Let me just get back over the gentleman here. And we'll pull down over here just to see how this comes out. Uh, not too bad. We'll go back and take out this part here. And then you just clean that building up behind you there a little bit. Just like so. Again, remember, nobody knows what was back there to begin with. I'm just clicking around my sister's shoulder here. And uh, we're just going to blend her right in with the white in the background there. And uh, we'll just do it that way. That way it'll kind of match with the background because she does have a white shirt on anyway, so it kind of worked out fine for us. We may want to go back in here a little bit. Right here. I'm just blending some of this stuff in here. Just to take that out, we can see now where the trail goes right up. It looks like it just goes right on through, so that looks really good. Um, I don't see any problems with that. Take out some of this here. And uh, it looks really good. Now we don't have the distractions. You don't have the people behind them any longer uh, for the photo bombing that we talked about. If you wanted to clean this up right here uh, along this wall, again, you can just uh, simply go along here a little bit. And uh, we can just uh, try to match it in a little bit, make it squared up a little bit more, just something like that. You can see now where I squared that wall off uh, from that store back there. There's an actual storefront back there. And um, that cleaned it up really nice. But it did get rid of all the people. That's what we wanted was to get rid of the distractions. You can go further back and we get rid of the people back here if you want. But they're far enough out of the photograph where I'm not really concerned. They're not taking away from the overall picture. And the reason you want to get rid of people in your photographs when you're doing this or when somebody photobombs you is obviously uh, people will look and say, well, if that's your mother and that's your sister, who's that guy? And who's that person there walking with them? And who's that lady? I don't know. They were just people walking along the street there. So now it looks like they're out there. They were by themselves, and everything looks really, really good. Um, there's something else you can do uh, when you take photographs of anybody and it looks like something sticking out of their head. Uh, this happens a lot of times when you're doing wedding pictures outside. Uh, sometimes you get a branch or something like that. You can also use this tool to do something like this. Let's see if this will work. Oops. All right, not too shabby. That was pretty quick. So it, now I took that out. It blended the tree together. It makes the tree look more uh, together there. We can go back in here a little bit. We can add some more tree in. And what that's going to do is just a content aware match. It's going to pull the tree together. And now it doesn't look like that pole was sticking out of the top of my sister's head. And I think that's really, really important. Uh, we'll just get rid of some of that little stick and hair up there. She has on top of her head. It must have been a windy day or something. Just something like that. So I think that cleaned the photograph up really, really nice just using the content aware tool. So it's a really, really great tool to use. Don't be afraid to use it and get out there and, uh, you know, play around with it. Folks, don't forget, uh, you can sign up for one of my courses very easily here at JTC Learning. That's at JTCLearning.com. Uh, I promote these courses because a lot of people, well, there's a couple, actually a, a couple test testimonials anyway. Um, so they, they trick win, you know, but um, the courses obviously are Photoshop Elements 12. 13 and 14, depending on what you have. You can see the number of people in the classes at any time. There's 24, 62, and 20. So if you want to come in here and, uh, you know, uh, sign up for one of these courses, as you see, they're very inexpensive at $35. You get the full bang for your buck for your Photoshop elements at that point. So that is why you want to take one of these courses. Uh, I know and many people say, Jack, you know, uh, I can learn that on YouTube. Uh, but these courses are set up very much in, in a... Uh, educational type fashion where they are very much laid out from beginning to end so it takes you step one step two step three we go through all the tools we go through all the creative edits uh, we go through all the creative editing here as far as the quick edit the guided edit and the expert mode so i think you'll be good to go 
Okay, folks, well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on eliminating photo bombers. I will talk to you next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.